Hey guys, I'm out again today. This is two days in a row for me, so I'm still uh, nasally and I'm I'm, I'm still coughing a little bit, but uh, my foot is feeling some better. Still some pain in my uh, in it when I was on certain steps and stuff, but uh, overall I'm, I, it's getting better. I'm in an area today where uh, over the years I have found some uh, some stick formations and things that were Bigfoot related. I actually caught a a howl or whatever you want to call it. Uh, scream I guess uh, last year uh, and uh, I'm not sure what it was it, uh, I don't think it was a coyote or a wolf so I don't know I guess that's open but uh, I just wanted to share a little bit with you today that, that I am out again today looking around and uh, hopefully this is uh, just a good uh, sign of things to come that uh, I can get you know continue to get healthy and get back to my normal routine of hunting Bigfoot and doing films and things like that. This is a beautiful area. I used to coon hunt this when I was a teenager. Me and my, me and my dad used to. Uh, this part here I'm in right now is gated. I had to park and walk so far. I mean, there's some areas where you can actually take a four-wheeler, but it's kind of rough to get in and out. And I, don't, I usually don't take my four-wheeler into a real rough area. I don't want to flip over and get hurt. I know several people who have uh, got injured that way, or actually I know a couple has died that way. Uh, friend of mine had his, he lost his son that way but uh, anyways I just want to make a make this short video uh, intro video and I'm gonna continue looking I got some other places I want to go today it's in this same vicinity so if I find anything interesting I will uh, I'll film it all right guys I am about to start the hiking portion of my trip uh, it's been a while since I've been back up in here uh, so I'm gonna go uh, up this continue up this road up this creek and maybe see what I can find up through there in the past I have found uh, what I thought to be Bigfoot structures and I have had uh, that's actually I caught the howl back up this way back up that way uh, so I'll see what I can find <sighs> all right guys today I'm in a little bit harder area a little bit rougher area as far as it being on my foot uh, <coughs> uh, I just come up about probably a mile maybe a little bit more uh, straight up the mountain basically Whew, and, it, <coughs> and I'm feeling it uh, my lungs and stuff my nose stuff's all stopped up my foot did fairly well I didn't uh, I had very little pain in here so that's good uh, I don't know if you can see up that hill that's where it came as straight as the cow's face and then all the way up that way, all the way up that way too. I come up this way, then up this way. <coughs> but uh, overall, it was, uh, I did pretty well considering I hadn't been up, you know, climbing hard this year yet. <coughs> I'm just coughing. And my nose kind of clogged up on me uh, from, I guess, where I've been sick. But I'm going to rest just a little bit and drink a little bit of water and then I'm going to head on around this way. I think I'll just video a little bit through here so you can kind of see where I'm at and what I'm doing. Uh, I've found numerous Bigfoot related items in this area. Also, it's uh, the last few years it's been pretty infested with, with quite a few bears, which I've not seen any today, thank the goodness. Thank the Lord, thank goodness. And how you want to say it? But that gives you a look at the area a little bit. And I've only managed to find one tick on me so far, but that might change. There's somebody's old deer stand looks like. I guess that's what that is. I guess so. Like I said, this area is not exclusive to me, but I guarantee you most people don't walk it like I do. Oh no, that's a feeder, I guess. Well, one thing about it, there's plenty of deer in here. Yeah, they've sawed this tree off. Probably so they can get a better shot. They must have a deer stand here somewhere close to this feeder. Or they plan on putting one up, I guess. 
All right, I'm gonna head on down this hill and see what I can find. And never go under a deadfall like this, which just ain't a deadfall. It was a cut job, but still danger. Yeah, they got your little scent thing there in the tree. They're trying to bait in for uh, for deer season, I guess. I know there's a big buck or two in here. I've seen them. Have them snort at me and things. But all right, I'm gonna head on down the mountain. All right, guys, I guess that'll be it for today. Uh, let's see how many. I've got almost uh, almost five mile in today, so that's pretty good with a guy that's been sick and uh, got a bad foot. Uh, didn't really find a whole lot today, but I did get to test my foot out more and my lungs, and I'm still nasally and stuff like that, but uh, I did find one, what I thought was maybe possibly one old track, but it was so washed out. I didn't even film it or anything. It could have been a little worm stung me or something. I think a worm. And uh, so I didn't even film the, the possible track. It was just so washed out. It could have been a boot track or anything. And we found the uh, the deer feeder and things like that up there. If you're a big footer, don't let that bother you. If, if you've got a deer hunter or turkey hunter or something in your area, just realize that uh, deer hunters and turkey hunters have been hunting in uh, Bigfoot areas their whole life. And it's, most of them are totally oblivious of it. They don't even know it. So uh, most hunters who are, let's say they're looking for deer, they're not, uh, most of them are not even interested in Bigfoot and don't think Bigfoot exists and they don't even know what to look for. Uh, it'd have to be a track wide out in the open and uh, be obvious, you know, for them to even pay attention to it. So if you got a deer hunter or something like that that comes into one of your areas occasionally, don't let that bother you. That's uh, most of the time they'll never, unless they actually have to you know see a bigfoot or see something totally obvious they won't even realize that bigfoot's in the area but they, it's something that you got to uh experience and take time uh to learn what to look for when it comes to finding bigfoot things such as structures and breaks and tracks and stuff like that so so don't be uh discouraged if you've got a uh a hunters coming to your area occasionally uh i'm sorry i keep having to sniff on stuff but i can't help it in my main Bigfoot area, where it's, uh, I call it the Bigfoot hotspot sometimes because there's almost always something going on in there. Occasionally, there's actually hunters that go in there, but they're totally oblivious. They don't know what's going on. Uh, they don't even pay no attention to the large tracks and everything that's on the ground. But, uh, so don't let that bother you if you got somebody in your area. And I guess I'll wrap it up for today. I'm going to ride the four-wheeler just a little bit. And, but first, I'm going to sit here. Man, that little worm stung. Uh, first, I'm going to sit here and drink a little bit of water and uh, rest just a little bit, which I feel pretty good. I caught my wind uh, once I got to the top of the hill, started back around, I caught my second wind, then all right. I only found one tick on me so far, knock on wood, so I hope I don't find any more. But I'll see you guys next time. Be good.